Well, it's very difficult to slow them down. They're very explosive. Uh, a lot of really good skilled players. We didn't tackle very well. Um, but you got to find a way to win in these games. And um, some guys stepped up and made some big plays. Delano went down early, and so Josiah Freeman stepped up, made big plays for us. Uh, but all week long, you know, we, we've been banged up all week. And you got a short week, you come on the road. Uh, to find a way to win, I'm really proud of our kids and our staff. Yeah, I mean, how proud does it make you to see that play out week and pull it off on the game? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, we don't complain about it. We know what it is, and the guys have to step up. Some of the guys, you know, tried to play a little bit, but they just weren't themselves, you know, so um, they gave it their best shot, you know. But So you have to call on the backups. and. No better example than to be prepared like Josiah Freeman was prepared when Mac went down. Uh, you see Josiah a little bit at this point. Just what led you to believe he was going to be prepared to take that on? Well, he's a, he's a good player. He's a really good player. And it was nice to see him. And, and I'm sure he's going to grow from this. This is going to give him a lot of confidence. Um, I don't know how many catches he had, but they were big ones. I know that. You know, there was a couple of fade balls that were really, really very timely for us. No, not, you know, one of the most uh, important was on the last drive, you know, to, to make that catch. And so um, it's really proud of him and, and everyone, everyone who, who stepped up and, you know, short weeks aren't, aren't easy, you know, especially coming off a very physical game that we had last week. Uh, but um, just really proud of the way the kids did a good job tonight. What's the most you got looking for today? Didn't turn the football over. You know, he was smart with it, threw it away when he needed to throw it away. Uh, ran the ball pretty well a couple times. We were really worried at the end because when he ran one of the ones, uh, last time he ran the ball, he got shook up pretty bad, you know. And so we felt like all we could do was throw screens at that point because he was, he was, uh, he was not himself at that point, you know. And so, um, but competitor, Unbelievable competitor, understands, had a lot of poise, didn't turn the football over, gave us a chance to win the game. You know, he had a chance last year, and you said, you know, it's still young, he's just getting his first starts. What do you see in him now compared to where he was in his first few starts? Oh, well, he's years ahead of last year, you know, because that was his first time ever playing. Um, and then he got four games under his belt, and he competed all fall, taking a lot of the first team reps you know, with Mikey. And so we have a lot of confidence in Logan. He, he knows the offense inside and out, very smart, makes good decisions, doesn't panic, really competitive, you know, and so people rally around him. You mentioned uh, this offense is hard to stop. They had time to go uh, take advantage of the last four, and you guys made the stop. Uh, what did you see uh, what Reese's pick and what that play meant to you? Well, I, I think he got one last – maybe a couple of weeks ago, very similar to that, something like that. Uh, but, yeah, undercutting the guy and, and making a nice play uh, to seal the game, you know, because those guys are very explosive. They have a lot of talent. Their receivers and their running backs are, are very good, very hard to bring down even after they catch the ball. Um, but uh, you got to do what you got to do to win. And, thankfully, Maurice made a great interception at the end of the game to secure it for us. Speaking of which, uh, you're 6-1, six, uh, six wins in seven weeks, got a bye week now. So how do you kind of feel reflecting on the first point of the season that you guys have put together the way that you have so far? Well, really, the bye comes at a really good time for us uh, because of all of our injuries. And um, so, you know, we'll take this time to try to get healthy, get a jump on UNLV. Uh, every single week is going to be really competitive in our conference. You have to be ready to play every week, but we need to get some guys healthy. You know, we, we have guys playing, but they're not always 100%. You know, they didn't practice through the week, and, you know, they're just trying to do what they can do to be on the field to help us. And so you had to reach out to some of the backups to step up. And uh, so the bye comes at a really good time right now. We need to get healthy. And away from the field, what do you think about those students right on the guys' backs on the eighth ball? Oh, man, they're – they're the roughest I've been around. I mean, they, they were into it. you got to give them credit. They stayed on it the whole game. You know, they never let up. And so 
that, that whole crowd, that whole that stadium is probably one of the top stadiums in our conference for noise and, and being educated to when to be loud and when not to be loud. That's one of the most educated crowds that we have in our, in our conference. I saw you raise the coach Armstrong afterwards. Just want to ask you about the line for the Tyrone in there as well as the Leafs did behind him. Yeah, um, you have to watch the film to see how all that went. Um, you know, but Tyrone did a, did a really nice job. Um, mostly they went down for a little bit because uh, Isaiah was hurt. And so we were, you know, we were scrambling there for a minute. But I thought Tyrone did a nice job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you know, it was a dogfight. We went into the game knowing it was going to be a four-quarter game. We tip our hat to Utah State. You know, they came out, played a great game. But um, Maurice Norris makes a big play at the end there to send, send us home, and uh, it was a great game. You guys also going out and explore a game when you drive. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the confidence in Logan after he had shown what you guys did for the first three quarters? Uh, you know, it was um, – we never didn't have confidence in Logan. We always – go by the theory of one play at a time, one drive at a time, one score at a time. So that's how we came into this game, and that's how I think we won this game. You had two touchdowns, and one of them was pretty creative. But yes, sir. Reaction to your day today, personally? Uh, you know, uh, we practiced that all week. Uh, it was exciting to happen, but uh, obviously good ball by Jalen Gill, but I just trusted my teammates, trusted my coaches, and they put me in that position. Uh, was there an indication in the week that you might be more involved in the passing game today? Uh, you know, not really. We prepare the same every week. You know, it's just sometimes things go certain ways, and tonight it just happened that I was involved in the, in the past game. How different was it? Um, short week, no Mikey, to pull this game final together and succeed the way you did. Uh, we knew it was a short week, but uh, we always we have confidence, you know, next man up. So we always had confidence in Logan, and uh, we were standing behind him. Uh, man, I'm just – I'm just mirroring my receiver. He took an inside release. He probably had like a little step on me. But um, when I'm in those positions, um, I put myself in a good position for the receiver and the quarterback to do what I wanted to do at the end of the day. I didn't think he was going to really throw that because I was really on his, on his top shoulder. But he threw it, and I just undercut it and made the same play that I made a couple weeks ago. It's, it's simple for me. So if you're going to keep throwing it like that, I'm going to keep picking it. You just to track your emotions after making that? Uh, relief. But I know my boys is tired, and uh, I gave up a double move play. I don't usually give up deep passes, so I had to make up for that for myself. But just to uh, be the guy to get my teammates off the field, I knew my guys was gas, and I, I told myself I'm going to be the one to make the play, and I made it. So. Yeah, what did it mean to the defense for you guys to win the game in that fashion after they made a lot of plays on the field? Uh, I mean, great, man. Uh, knowing that my guys trust me to go out there and do my job, even after making a mistake, and trusting my guys that they're going to do their job, and we all playing as a unit to, to eventually win the game. That's, that's, a, that's the goal, man. You know, championship, defense win championships. That's a great showing of how our defense can win a ball game. You guys were banged up coming in. You played a lot of different guys on defense. Yeah. Switched up the scheme, looked like at times. How complicated was this offense? How tough was this uh, it wasn't too complicated. They, they had some explosive guys. The receiver core was pretty decent. Um, I think the offensive coordinator came out with some good play calling today. But end of the day, and Coach Coyle, we trust, man. So I trust my coach. I trust my players. We just go out there and do what we got to do. And you guys have been giving up plays like that yeah. since the like, first round of the season. Man. Like, how difficult was it to keep composure and confidence going through that? Uh, it was, it was a little difficult, not too major. We did give up some plays. We did leave some tackles out there that we shouldn't have given up. We did leave some plays out there that we shouldn't have given up on third down. So we just we just keep fighting, man. Coach Coral preaches just focus on winning the game. No matter what happens, just focus on winning the game. That's all we do, just focus on winning. What can you say about your offense and what was able to do uh, you know, and so Five stepped up, man. Um, I always got trust in five, man. He's, he's a veteran, man. I know he knows what to do. I know he's going to get the job done. He has trust in us. So... When he's out there, I, I got no worries. And our offensive guys, they, they're clicking right now, and they're going to keep getting better, and we're going to keep getting better, and we're going to keep doing our thing. So how good does it feel to kind of get the stink of last week's loss off and go into the bye with a win like this and get healthy? I feel good, man. Uh, we, 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 we down on ourselves with that, that performance we put on last, last week, especially defensively. So we had to come out and show how we are and how we play dog D. And going into this bye week, it's a great opportunity for us to get get close to 100% healthy, man. So it's going to be good coming back on the second half.
Uh, feels good and a little relieving. Uh, I think the defense stepped up when they needed to, and, and the offense just took control of what they could. Um, it was a long game. We knew it was going to be a four-quarter game. Those guys put up points, and they fight till the end. They've shown it week in, week out. So uh, we knew it wasn't going to be over early, and uh, we just had to keep putting drives together. And uh, as far as the offense goes, we just knew we needed to keep scoring, and that way we, could, we give our defense a chance. What do you think went well for you in particular? Uh, just staying calm. Uh, I knew that I've been in these high-pressure situations before and just uh, taking what the defense gives me. Uh, we kind of kept the game plan simple this week with a short week. Um, Coach Wade and Coach McCann, Coach Tedford, they all put a good game plan together for us. So uh, play calling was really good. It was kind of easy for us just to execute. Um, obviously, we got to clean a couple things up, but uh, it was just kind of simple plays out there, and we were executing well. Usually you guys don't need 37 to win. I mean, this, what was it like just going back out there and back out there? Yeah, I'm, that's football. And uh, as far as, as the offense, we know we can go out there and score every drive, and that's the standard we hold ourselves to. So uh, see, we didn't expect anything anything less. So uh, Malik ran the ball well. The receivers were doing their job. The O-line played really hard, um, and it was just overall a good game. We just kept fighting. You guys lost Mac early. Uh, how much chemistry do you even have with Josiah? You guys made some big plays down the stretch. Yeah, uh, I mean, we, I think – I gained a lot of chemistry with all the guys throughout camp and uh, just, just the offseason in general. Um, everybody splits reps at practice for the most part. You, you get a good rotation of guys, so we know what Josiah is capable of. Um, it was a bummer that Mac went down. Um, I've had a good relationship with Mac since even high school. Um, so, but it was just next man up. We, we know that as an offense and as a team, and Josiah stepped up, and I knew that I needed to give him more opportunities. Um, I missed him on a couple, and uh, towards the end, I just had the confidence to let him go get a ball, and uh, that's exactly what he did. That's what he's, what's, what he's good at. Something you saw on that last throw to him? Um, I think it was either first or second down, and uh, it, we had it was man, it was pressed to the field, and I knew Josiah was winning the whole game. And I figured, I mean, why does what might as well take a shot? Uh, I mean, I'm an aggressive guy, I like to take shots, and uh, Josiah went and made a play. What does it mean to you to lead this victory? Uh, it means everything. I'm just, I'm just happy I could step up and, and fill the role and uh, help my team win. That was the main thing is uh, don't try to do too much and uh, just let the place come to me. I knew that we just wanted to get out of here with a win, whether it's by 20 or by two. So I'm glad we got out of here with a good win. It was a good four-quarter battle by the whole team. Can you reflect on what the last seven days have been like? Uh, I'm, nothing crazy. I, I was in this position last year. I just I felt more confident, um, not as stressed, and uh, just eager to get to game day. So um, I was excited about the opportunity, and uh, I'm just glad I could help my team win. Thank you. Thank you.